Hey guys, it's Max. Welcome to my video autofocus comparison between the brand new Panasonic GH5 with the brand new 12 to 35 version 2. And this is a $3,000 setup compared to the $1,400 A6500 and a $300 uh, 51.8 lens. It's a nice lens. It's fairly sharp. It's not amazing, but it also has some focus breathing, but uh, it's a good lens overall and I do use it quite often. Now the Sony, we're just going to be using the wide autofocusing with face tracking enabled uh, it does a good job and then on this camera we just spent literally the last two days finding the most optimal settings for 4k at 24p uh, you want to shoot, have the responsiveness all the way up and, and also use um, either the 225 or the central AF uh, cluster, the multi-custom cluster. If you guys want to see the autofocusing detailed review test video, it's on my channel. Uh, warning, it is about 29 minutes long, but there's a lot of tests, a lot of useful info. We're also going to be shooting some, uh, some uh, 4K 60 and uh, 1080 60. It is faster using that setting, but you do have pulsing in the background, which cannot be eliminated and it is annoying. So we're gonna try to keep this short. You guys check out uh, that video and I'll meet you at the end.
Alright guys, so this is the third day that we're finishing up, third full day playing with the autofocusing, doing testing and comparisons and trying to figure what works the best and what issues uh, the camera is having. Now this is actually the third time we're redoing this conclusion. Uh, the last time we should use this camera here, the GH5, and the whole three to four minute conclusion was out of focus because it just would not focus. And we were using the recommended settings that the Panasonic reps gave in different videos. Had it set to lock on and the autofocus speed to the slowest to prevent from hunting and keep a subject like this that's just sitting there talking locked on, but it did not do it. Uh, so we had to scrap all of that, we we're redoing again, but we did play around with it more and what we figured out is when the camera is not actually recording, when you're just in the video mode, it actually focuses really well. You guys can see the examples here. The subject sits down, it locks on and it holds it. But when we hit record and I sat down and I was recording myself, it just would not focus. As you guys can see, here's an example. It wouldn't go on. And uh, like I said, we were using the recommended settings. You guys can see here, we have eye detection, eye autofocus on. We have the quick autofocus on. We have the continuous autofocus on. And our custom settings are set to what the reps recommended. And in video mode, it just not, when it was recording, it didn't focus on me. And I lost the whole clip. We decided to reshoot this this third time. Um, now we also found some interesting information. Um, here is the manual. Hopefully the autofocus works with a Sony. And uh, in the manual, uh, somebody pointed out in a video something interesting. The manual here on page 123, it, there's a link, which you can't really click, so you have to type it in, to the advanced manual that is only online. It is larger. And in that advanced manual, uh, here's uh, what uh, the person said here. So Guy Teague wrote, um, he wrote, uh, basically everybody's arguing when nobody has a GH5, majority don't. This is what the advanced manual says. To ensure highly accurate focus, 4K motion pictures are recorded at reduced autofocus speeds. It may be difficult to focus on the subject with autofocus, but this is not a malfunction. That is, is in the manual. So uh, we actually looked up the advanced manual. You guys will see a screenshot. Let me pull this up and you can only access this online. And it's kind of in the troubleshooting settings. And interesting that Panasonic rep hasn't uh, mentioned this to me. Maybe this is something just the engineers know and they kind of put it in there. Um, so it says, sometimes it is difficult to focus with autofocus when recording 4K motion pictures. So when you're recording 4K, the autofocus isn't good. This phenomenon occurs, phenomenon occurs when the camera is trying to record with highly accurate focus at a reduced autofocus speed. It's not, mal it's not a malfunction. So it's difficult to autofocus when you're recording 4K. Um, that kind of doesn't make sense, but it's not a malfunction. So it's normal to not have good autofocus in 4K. The 1080p uh, was 60 was similar to the 4K 60. So, um, but it is in the manual. If you're shooting 4K, it is difficult to autofocus, and it is not a malfunction. Um, so uh, very interesting. Now I want to just comment on the previous videos you guys saw. Um, we set the Sony to wide and it had the face tracking. This is like the out of the box settings. We did not tweak it at all. And we gave the GH5 as much advantages as we could in those, the first tests that you guys were watching. So in most of those, we had it set to the, fa the most responsive and uh, the fastest speed just to keep up with the Sony, which is completely a default. The Sony can be set faster or slower and it didn't do as well. We tested both uh, 4K 60 and 24 like you guys saw. Of course, the A6500 does not have uh, 4K 60, so we did 1080p 60 there. And uh, some of the tests we redid multiple times and chose the best sample to show you guys. We're giving the GH5 an advantage here. Um, so the, the shot where uh, my assistant was standing there and I was moving the camera off so it focuses on the background, on him and back and forth, the GH5 just refused to focus in either the 225 wide or the, the, multi, the center, or the custom multi, which I called a zone focus. It just wouldn't focus on his face, even though the points are covering it. I had to switch to that single little box, the, little, the smallest point for it to do so, and it did, wasn't as fast as a 6500, but it did it. So I redid that multiple times. I chose the best option. The problem with that is when you're out in the field, you're actually shooting, it's very hard to keep a, a point that, that, that is that small on a subject. The subject moves, you move, and it goes out of focus. So the other modes that should work better, they don't work as well. Now uh, for the vlogging type setup, I had a lot of people comment, you got to set it to lock on, do the uh, 
So it's, it stays locked on. Um, and uh, we also did three takes there and chose the best one. The first one just wouldn't focus on me, on me at all. If I use either the 225 point or if I use the, the multi-custom or the single point when you're walking, the, those points are gonna go off of you and it's gonna focus on the background and it won't focus back on you. The 225, the, sometimes it doesn't pick it up. And then of course, when I showed off uh, my assistant and he came up closer to me, uh, it does an okay job. So I just wanna just let you guys know that we gave the GH5 the most advantage and that's what you guys saw. It really wasn't a fair test. On top of that, most of those were uh, both lenses at 2.8, but the A6500 has a sensor twice the size or about twice the size. So it's at a disadvantage because it has less in focus at those same settings. Uh, so I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. We really spent the last three days just looking at autofocus. So I want to look at the other great and amazing features this camera offers. It's a great camera. It really is uh, the first camera with 4K60 at this price point and has other amazing features that I want to look at and explore. So we're going to be doing a lot more shooting. But we're going to leave autofocus for now. Uh, Panasonic has, uh, I've contacted Panasonic. They reached back, so maybe they'll send me another one to test or let me know what else I should try to do and I'll, uh, I'll be testing that out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.